Nate Navagano, that ties him for the all-time Mac made three-pointers. And you can see he doesn't worry about that line being almost two feet deeper. He's got NBA three-point range. He probably doesn't even notice it. He's try, trying to get some space. We'll shoot the three over Jones. Well, it's for three. Doesn't even think, lets it go from way downtown. Got to pick your spots at St. John's. Who to be aggressive with, where to take those chances. Hankins to the corner. Wellich for three. That's what this kid does. Get it back out. You've been efficient so far. Scruggs the deep three. Wellage gets the rebound. He'll put it back up and in. A bit, a bit, but you just have to understand, keep those things tightened up. Shamori Bonds on the bench out of the timeout for St. John's. Good and kick out. Castling doesn't love to shoot from deep. Shot clock down to 10. Wellage. The runner puts it in. Parpons may be listed at 6'1", but he's got a wingspan of a guy that's like 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", and you mess around with that ball, he's going to make you pay. First lead of the game for St. John's. Jones to Wellich for three. They get the lead right back. You can get that anytime. And you don't, and you know, you don't want to play too safe on the road last game if those shots and playing for Mullen you got to know and there are going to be times where you have to just make a play and have feel for if it's a good shot or a bad shot that well it's he's got the feel right now for Marvin Clark we're under four Hankins facing the double extra pass well it's for three by the way, by the way, LJ Figueroa is back in. Remember, he went hobbling to the bench earlier. So Xavier dodged one bullet right there. They turned it over, did not give up points on the other end. Wellich, top of the key, three! Fifth three. Slip here. Beautiful slip. Hankins, everything but the finish. Stays with it, though. Out to Wellens for three. Boy, give Hayden. Baldwin loves that little jab to rock you back. And if you retreat, he's rising up. If you don't, he's blowing by you. 46 to 42. Gooden leading it. Oh, what a touch pass to Wellens. How good was that? Hankins. They whip it around the perimeter. Marshall. No, Hankins, the offensive board. Wellich for three. Yes. And that's the man you want to shoot it. He leads. He keeps through with her hitting big shots like that one. Najee. In and out. There's Tyree Jones. Wellich, the three. Yes. Hold it, hold it. 
Yeah. It's, o- it's Oscar so season. It. Next week is the Oscar. <laughs> Oscars. Or I should say this week. This Sunday. Is it really? It's this Sunday. Yeah. Wow, well, time flies when I'm having fun with you. Three-pointer is good from well. <laughs> that has to translate into wins for you if you want some respect. Diallo, not a three-point shooter, misses that one. Here comes Scruggs in transition. Relich for three. That's his shot, and he makes it. Putting it in. And that's that confidence that you talked about earlier I, I think you're right people he doesn't think he's as good as other people think he is and that play right there you watch that back when you're watching tape and give you some confidence 25 to 11 that is what Xavier has outscored Providence here in the second half well edged for three knocks it down this sucks Harden into the game because of the foul trouble for Gooden. Marshall kicks. Well, it's three rattles home. Losing streak, which is what is on the line tonight. Yep. And offensively, it's been a struggle in the second half. Exactly, Todd. Not, not really scoring the second half. Two for eight, 25% from the field for Xavier in the second half. Wellage in the corner. Ryan Wellage. Free Jeffrey Jones. Bruce the three. On him for Spruce tonight. He's two for 14. One for seven from deep. Doug's turn. Nope, does not turn it over. Wellich able to hold on. This is not exactly his game. But he kept being a foul. They were trying to wall up on the move by Hankins. Well, Edge, the best three point. Omer, you're seven. Big guy, averaged 13 points per game last year. He's going to be in the mix next year for the Hoyas. The seven footer is a big Todd's good shot. The six, six, including a couple of threes by Mosley. He has matched his season high. He's got six points. It's a big possession in the half court for Xavier. Get Tyreek Jones a touch on the low post. Well, Edge. Inside for two. Older, older. But after missing that little running hook, he held his right right shoulder as if it really is really is hurting. Savior down by one, two to go. No points in the last three and a half minutes. But Wellen answers. Back, back is Isaiah Jackson. Well, one of the things Providence is continuing to do is they're continuing to find the mismatch with Xavier. And the mismatch seems to be Wellish defensively, and they're utilizing whoever he's guarding and going right at him. Wellish, little hesitation move, and then forced it up there. And they're looking for more of that from him. I mean, Sam Hauser, though, he's one of my biggies unsungs. He... He has the ability. He carries that team as far as composure. Oh, did they need that? Let's be thought about it. Booth will take it. You know, way short. Scruggs comes out of the mess with it. Jones wanted it inside. Instead, out of the corner. Wellens knocks down the. Be interesting to. Imagine what Butler's record would be this year if he had been eligible from the beginning of the season. And you know what? That's what you want. I mean, he's a good size. I call him a three man, but he can play like a two. Well, it's a floor. floor. Travis Steele likes to run a lot of set plays. And without your point guard on the floor, sometimes executing sets can be challenging. So it could be interesting tonight to see how many sets are available to save. Well, it's right in there. Getting out, getting out. Back in the game. Need, need Malinowski to wake up too. He needs to do what he did in the first 15 minutes of the game and scoring and distributing. Shot clock down to five. Well, he's going to put it up. Yeah, Tariq Jones not able to corral Marcus Howard that time. And he doesn't need much space. Howard's hit three threes today and a long two. He's got 17. Wellens. And he 
And what he does now is he brings Tyreek Jones in off the bench, and Jones is matched up against Romaro Gill. You wonder if Seton Hall will go to the bench and take Romaro Gill out soon. Wellich to the hoop against <laughs> to give any kind of a look at unless you're going over there to say Happy New Year. <laughs> Wellage left open for three. Got it. Work a little bit. Make someone else try to beat you. Scruggs has had a night. Wellage for three. Scruggs the offensive rebound. Scruggs able to get rid of it. Wellage, his floater. That should be a goal, 10 and one. For this Musketeer, because best in the big, actually best in the country at offensive rebounding. So if you have the ability to continue that, you're gonna make some money somewhere. But also gotta remember, he was the third cog as a big for the Musketeers. He's gonna continue to play personal foul. That is a huge thing for Xavier. Huge because this is the guy that really gives them their identity. He's a tough guy, kind of like the Marcus Smart type of in interior, exterior presence where, look, he's fearless. Gets it done in unorthodox ways as well as he's loaded, loaded to the basketball, and that's where Xavier's at their best. Struce driving. There were four Musketeers on him defensively. Marshall comes away with a loose ball, and here comes Xavier. Three on two. Wellage, smart pull up, and he knocks down at them, and really attacking. Butts doing a good job with that. Trying for the lob for Butts, ill advised. Kane trying to do a little bit too much on that pass. Scruggs. Second turnover for DePaul, and both of them ride ball turnovers. Wellage with a look. Wellage. Gage picked up his dribble. Butts in the corner. Allude should be three. Butts trying to keep it alive. Gage tapped it out. And going the other way, Scruggs. Bad possession. Look, Fima, Fimi was wide open. Down on the... Goodies, That's an area they should continue to dominate. Well, Quentin Gooden, he's doing well. He's got eight points. It gives the assist. Down, down Najee Marshall and Tyreek Jones tonight. Quentin Gooden has stepped up in a big way coming off his career high. But waiting for that secondary contribution for the Musketeers. How about Ryan Wellage? He knocks it down. Harrison Curry. This is only his third game. He was waiting for that transfer waiver from Louisiana Tech. It was granted. He's been a big boost, more than 14 points per game since he's come back to the fold. And you can tell he still hasn't gotten in the game shape. A lot of huffing and puffing, but again, I love the aggressive. Got a career night. Detroit Mercy. He's got 13 to go along with a career high in rebounds. He has stepped up in a big way on the road. And that's what happens when you give a team confidence early. Ryan range, range to him. Yeah, and he's got that, my dad is a coach green light, which <laughs> there is no green light. It's just, there is no light. Just do what you do. Well, it's your dad. Your team playing without a man who really he is the offense we saw what it looks like at the end of the first half and it's pretty much wait to the end of the shot clock Ryan. that one won't go rebound into the hands of quentin good wellich lines up a three missed his first looks like it's so hard and then there's times it looks like it's so easy it's just how you handle that initial trap and get out of it is everything and gets a point away from tying that career high well it's for three weaver, weaver knocks down a three he said whoops if he had one mil the rest of his life what would he have he said i would have quote five lobsters five lobsters just five ten pancakes <laughs> three pieces of bacon a slice of pizza and buffalo wild wings honey barbecue wings and let me tell this to you nick mayo that's not one meal <laughs> that's not one meal that's cheating the question i don't i don't like the lobster to pancake combination is something that i'm gonna vote in. come over come over and double and if you do that, you're going to give up a skip pass out to the opposite three-point line, which I believe is fine. Make Cincinnati shoot threes as opposed to twos around the rim. 
Into the corner. Wellens knocks it down. Knocked it in. Six straight for Cincinnati. And maybe he'll get one on the back end. Right. Or later. Yeah, absolutely. Can't Jen sit there. You how, can't. How about the defense from Jennifer, who just came out? He is so active. He's been great. Wellens. Got it for three. And Wellens. And the Musketeers will have the first. Both teams with three game winning streaks. Xavier 5 and 3 overall, coming off a win over Oakland. Ohio 5 and 2. The Bobcats beat Marshall most recently. Tyreek Jones working the baseline. And there's Wellich. Just with the start throwing it into the post. And he has really done a good job establishing himself inside early in this game. Knocked away. Good defense by Xavier to get a hand on it. Scruggs kicks to Marshall. And now Wellich. In his, fifth, in his fifth season at the helm of the Bobcats program. Good coach as well as left it. Wide open threes. Switch it up the defense a little bit has Oakland. They'll switch it up a little bit. The corner for Wellich. The one thing he... No question about it. Figuring out when to pass, when to distribute, when to score. And rebounding, a real issue for Oakland, and we've seen it here in the last few possessions as Xavier has gotten another offensive rebound, another opportunity. Some Travis Steele talked about yesterday was Xavier has to own the glass here this afternoon to win the game. Deontay Kennedy, the freshman, has to pick up the dribble, and now Wellage finds an opening. The reverse. If anybody who needs to be forcing shots, it's Hill Mays. Scruggs, the runner, missed it. Hankins' offensive rebound, and that's Wellich. That is his... Have an underdog on the road. You gotta make him. Yeah. They have made the free throws. Had a lane violation earlier. Under a minute to play. Xavier trying to protect a six-point lead. Have to block out, Vince, if you're open. Shot clock at three. Wellage. Oh! Ring goes back in after the two quick fouls. He throws it up. Will not go. And it's controlled by Wellage. Wellage with the three. Well, he bound. Scruggs ahead to Gooden. Interesting here, Xavier just finished playing a team that likes to pressure in Illinois. So the Red Hawks come with a little full court pressure, and Xavier able to easily break it. Down the, three. In the first three games that Auburn's played, he's got 22 assists and only three turnovers. Brown will sit down. Javon and McCormick in off the bench for Auburn, a junior from New Orleans. Here's the zone again. You got. It's really a tandem at 2-3. It looks like a 1-3-1 one, because one the wings come up. Well before down the stretch, they were a totally different team. Wellage follows you up at a corner. And you want to you you know, flatten the defense out. They didn't make Xavier guard at all. That's two trips in a row where there hasn't been a single pass made by Auburn at the offensive end. Now maybe they're just thinking about a two-for-one, but you, you can go two-for-one and still get a good shot. Couldn't contrive this one. Wellich will get another look. Great. I mean, that, I mean, that couldn't have been easier. Just a catch and load up shot. I mean, you don't get that much time to shoot in a game of horse. McLemore is having a big game right now in a variety of respects for Auburn. Lead back to double digits. Good job by McLemore to guard Jones inside. Dealt with that screen. Kick out. Well down, down, and lead back to four. Gooden has had a very big second half here for Xavier. He's got 13 points, and all of them have come in the second half. 
And Bryce Brown on Scruggs. Harper on the bigger Quentin Gooden. Well, it's wide open. What a screen by Hankins. In the, in the first in double digits for either team. Well, they needed it. Wisconsin, they've missed four layups and a dunk and, and have 10 points in the paint. They should have way more than that. But, well, listen, he's, he's going to be a challenge for him. A guy who's a, a pretty good athlete who likes to jump and try to go get the ball to stay on the floor. And you see those shot fakes. Well, it's there you go. Far, far, far more athletic than Coleman, who's guarding him. So instead of just trying to bludgeon him and shoot a hook shots, face him up and use your foot speed and quickness. Right now he's got Behan on him and nobody knows it. Good and driving. Open shot for Wellish. First three of the day. The call drives, kicks. And Hanson misses a three. For three of 14 from beyond the arc. Wellish. A little baby curl screen there. Manette on the catch. Commands so much defensive attention. He's able to leave it off for an open teammate. Jaguars by two. Wellage. Got the three. Especially to start the season. Weatherford driving. Oh, Hankins got his third block. Taken back by Goss. His shot missed. Tipped away. Here comes Xavier. Scruggs. Big screen by Hankins. Wellage triggers one. Got it! For IUPUI. It's like Nick Rogers in as well in the backcourt. Both teams are pretty deep. Wellage open again. You can't leave him open. IUPUI defensively is doing a lot, but leaving the shooter wide open. Well, Scruggs. Wellage driving. Difficult shot that won't go put back good. He can special special. You're figuring it out, too This is a very gettable team and you're talking about upsets for IUPUI So they knew being the older team they had a shot and you're seeing that right now Marshall Wellage wide open like, like Jordan Bird out here, doesn't it? My bad. That was Rogers. Nick Rogers it was Rogers now Wellich driving. Very thin. San Jose State was one of the few schools that offered him a scholarship. Look at Jones' work. Wellich dumps it into the corner. Wellich again. Right! 